In this remote desert, there are miles and miles of desolate sand dunes. It's the perfect place for an extreme test of Polytron's lubricating ability. We've come to the desert to punish this engine. We're removing the valve cover, which is going to expose the valve train, which is the top part of the engine. Engine on. It's going to expose the valve train, which is the top part of the engine. Engine on. Now watch as we create one of the worst sandstorms imaginable. Fans on! Look as the sand is engulfing this engine. It's getting into the valves. It's getting into the valve train, but the engine is still working. Unbelievable. Remember, we treated this engine with Polytron. Absolutely amazing. Let's get the camera really close. Look how filthy, look how dirty, look how contaminated the valve train is. And it's still running. I don't know how many pounds of sand has entered this engine, but it's unbelievable. You gotta see this. You gotta see this. Fans off. Fans off. Fans off. Fans off. Unbelievable. Take a look at this engine. Look at how well this engine is running. Polytron has really done the job. Absolutely amazing. But wait, we're not finished. We then removed the oil pan to expose the crankshaft and we restarted the car. We then drove the car to the edge of a 800 foot sand dune and off it goes. This car is literally being pounded by sand as it drives. The engine is under heavy load, but it's performing remarkably well. Remember, this car's engine has already survived a blistering sandstorm. The car is making another pass. The driver is so confident that he's going for another run down the dunes. Look at the car kick up sand. The bumper is off. The car hit with such force that the bumper ripped away. And the car is still driving. The driver finally pulls in to stop after making 12 runs down the dunes. Now, it's time to reveal the effects the sand has had on the crankshaft. Look, the car is still running. After pounds and pounds of sand contaminated the engine, it still runs. That's the power of Polytron.